guys, it's a new season. <laughs> so it's a <laughs> no, no. You ready? House of the Dragon season two? Let's go. Let's go. Yo, so I'm Team Black, by the way. Just, yeah, be, me just too. Here before we get in. So me too. I'm Team Black. I started out, I was a little green behind the ears, but as I've matured into this, into this series, I think I've come to see the light, man. I'm rocking with Team Black because Team Green is just a little too skinny to me. So <laughs> uh they yeah, they just have bad intentions. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like always, we're gonna be caught up this week, man. So this is episode one, episode two. We'll we'll be, you know, caught up with you guys. We'll be live. So I'm really excited about that. We've been working really hard to do it. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for the support. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. What? What's this? Blood in the carpet. Whoa. I was sewing the threads. You see that? Yeah, that girl was sewing a spider last time we seen her. And Sansa sews. Maybe it's a callback. Is it like Targaryen history or something? Because I don't see nothing but dragons, blood, and <laughs> castles. Yeah, lots of red. Uh-oh. Dead. Oh, that's the cruel king, right? The one that killed everybody? Some knee bents. Some targs. I don't really know what's going on. Oh, that's the one that's where... Oh, uh, at the beginning! Yeah, there's a season Jaharis, right there. Jaharis. Oh, Aegon. Oh, Rhaenyra. I like how everything's divided. Oh, it's like a quilt or something. That's so nice. I love the new the new opening. Did you like that one better than the old one? I think I do. The old one was kind of hard to follow, wasn't it? Right. So was that one. Let's be real. I mean, yeah, but. Let's go, baby. Getting some screen time. Don't you feel like it's brand like this? I feel like anytime I see a bird is bad, right? How's brand looking? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Duty is sacrifice. It eclipses all things, even blood. Ask Allison. All men of honor must pay its we price. Know, we know that place. You hear that Sansa music? The North owes a great duty to the Seven Kingdoms, one older than any oath. Since the days of the First Men, we have stood as guardians against the cold and the dark. Through its long tradition, the Night's Watch cultivated its strength from doomed men who had their life as their only possession. But my ancestor, Torrin Stark, began a tradition by making an offering at the onset of winter. One in ten men from our household was to be chosen to fortify the watch. Oh, like the Hunger damn. Games, like the Hunger that Games. That was suck. This is not a sentence, but an honor. Oh, they like a duty it. Embraced by all who serve the North. Yeah, y'all keep telling y'all. Even by mine own kin. Torin's the one who bent the knee. That the is North cool. Must stand ready. Winter is coming. Coming. What is this scent that falls from the skies and shivers my bones? This is only a late summer snow, my prince. In winter, it will cover all you see, and all memories of warmth will be forgotten. It pleases me to think that over a century ago, our ancestors treated in this very place. The conqueror and the king in the north. Oh, wow. You, at least, had the mercy not to threaten me with your dragon. So he's basically up there to try to recruit Winterfell, huh? Mm-hmm. Or maybe not Winterfell, they're at the wall. He's just a. So this is Stark. picking up right Surely where it left off? Maybe? Torrin Stark would have sooner died than bent the knee, unless he believed the Conqueror could bring unity to the Seven Kingdoms. You are right in that. That unity is now threatened. The realm will soon tear itself apart if men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys and to his rightful heir. Starks do not forget their oaths, my prince. But you must know that my gaze is forever torn between north and south in winter. My duty to the wall is even more dire than the one I owe to King's Landing. I need my men here. Whilst your men guard against wildlings and weather, the High Tower's plan to usurp the throne. He has my no mother idea. is to defend her claim, to hold the realm united. She needs an army. War is coming to the whole of the realm, my lord. We cannot wage it without the support of the North. My father brought King Jaehaerys and Queen Alessand to see the wall. His grace stood at this very outlook and watched as their dragons the greatest power in the world refused to cross it. Do you mm. think my ancestors built a 700 foot wall of ice to keep out snow and savages? What does it keep out? <laughs> Death. You'll never know. People in this world love big answers. I have thousands they? of grey beards who have already seen too many winters. They are. Well honed. That's what he called the old men, the so greybeards. I can ready them to march at once. If your greybeards can fight, the queen will have them. They will fight hard, like northerners. My lord. 
couple northerners is what won the battle against the dead in Game of Thrones, isn't it? Because the north remembers, baby. Let's go. Oh no! Damn, them ravens come quick, don't they? Or they don't, because he his hair's changed and everything. He looked like Jon Snow. Yeah, he might have had a little march. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, if they're not ready for war right now, then why is Rhaenyra sending her son to try to convince people she needs to go herself? I think she just had that baby thing situation. It was pretty bad. Yeah. And then we got to know if she's going to get in trouble for killing all those people Thank at King's Landing. Because that was kind of crazy. We're flying out. <laughs> I alone patrol over a hundred miles of open sea endlessly to hold the blockade. Maybe this must gorge and rest, as must I. We're going to King's Landing. To what end? Killing Vagar. I cannot face that hoary old bitch alone. With my dragon and yours together, we can kill Vagar in her rider. Make it a son for a son. I don't hate What's the plan. The, command? the queen remains absent. I should be at Harrenhal, bending knees, but I must instead remain here to wage her war. <laughs> or perhaps more simply, to await her return. She has been gone for days. Too long, she is exposed. She is grieving. The mother grieves as the queen shirks her duties. Ooh. It was Damon just wants blood, a raven huh? that bore me news of Lena's death. I existed for weeks in torment, refusing to believe what I'd been told. It was only when I saw my daughter's mortal remains that I could begin to mourn her. Mm. A raven has told Rhaenyra that her son is dead. She needs to know it for certain. She was a fool to go alone. Oh, so she if went. What happened upon her? Then I would pity Aemon. Facts. The queen was wise to recuse herself. She has not acted on the vengeful impulse that others might have. If you'd have acted when you had the chance, Aegon's line would be extinguished. Man. Not her war to start. And Luke would be alive. Fly with me. It is a command. Would that you were the king. Oof. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so sad. That just goes to show how loyal the dragons are, though. Because it's insane they would kill their own kind on behalf of Targaryen humans. Mm -hmm. Some blood on the deck. Ooh. Some barnacles on the thing. <laughs> you see the blood falling on their head. It's a marvel she was able to return from the stepstones at all. It's barely done, but done. Seven more ships put out to sea this morning to fortify the blockade. The gullet is fast, and we're not like to have the numbers to cover all that open water. I must have my ship back at sea to lead the effort. It'll be many weeks yet. Man, Roger. that thing's busted. <laughs> Good luck. But I'll have a word with my brother to see what reinforcements the shipwrights can muster. The smithy delivered this earlier, my lord. What's that on the end of it? A seashell? Yeah, it looks like I've had this commission for Prince Lucerus. That Pokemon looks like this? Oh, what? He had that commission for the Prince Lucerus. <gasps> the sword. That's really sad. I just thought it looked like that Pokemon that sticks its tongue out. And maybe the the shell on the end with the pearl. You know what I mean? Aww. I never thought about that. I was very sorry to hear about your heir's death. It was the blackest of treacheries. Pardon me, Lord. If it will please you, much to do. They tell me that you're the one that dragged my body out of the sea. Hero. Desmond Doss. It was only my duty. I am indebted to you, Alan. What a noble seeming character. Alan with a Y. Well. I'll see what they're up to. Mind your post! Yes, Keep your focus, man! Man, you on the wrong side, brother. Dragon! I'm the scorpion! They have scorpions. We're gonna We're not about to have a war right now, are we? No shot. Hold! Who is that? Dundow! Holy wings. That's how you know. Them old beat up wings. Yeah. He was like, he used to have like a lot of piercings. <laughs> <laughs> He's a change dragon. Yeah. Look at her sewing. Man, I'm being boring. I need to perk up. Where's my water? Where is your Harris? Attending his lessons. And those are where? 
What do you need of him? Taking him to the small council. He'll be king one day. He must begin his instruction. What if he does not want to be king? Where is he? The library. You must not interrupt his custom. <laughs> They're married, right? Yeah. I'm afraid. Don't be. They'd be fools to come with Vega protecting the city. Not the dragons. The rats. There has been a lot of rats in the show, though. There has been. I thought it just meant like there's rats in the building, like the high towers. What's going on here? That better not be that clubfoot guy. Club tongue. <laughs> oh, it's it's Kristen Cole. There's a chill in the air. Bro, Sorry, aren't they I'm mad about that through. though? Wait, hold on. Isn't the whole thing about them is they're mad because she got mad that Rhaenyra was doing that, and Kristen Cole got mad because Rhaenyra wanted him to be like his side piece. Mm. Ain't he side piece right now? He, he, that's why I keep calling him Sir Side Piece. That's just what he is. Summer is well and truly through. We are expected at the small council, Your Grace. You need to wipe your face. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot. Again. Yes, Your Grace. Yeah, don't you have an oath, Chris Kristen? Christian, Christian. Well, his his oath, I guess, is to serve his queen. <laughs> However he sees fit, I guess. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Dead rats. Progress. Good day. Why are y'all late? Ask him, Otto. He looked at him like, what the hell y'all been doing? Did you see him? <laughs> <laughs> Good morrow, my lords. <laughs> Mother, what news? Our letters to the Vale and to the North continue to go unanswered. Cunts. The Stormlands should be ours after Prince Eamon's marriage pact to the Lady Floris Baratheon. I anticipate their sworn declaration. <sighs> my brother <laughs> is raising the strength of the West to mass the Golden Tooth, but we... Yeah. Thank you, my prince, that's... That's very helpful. My nephew, Lord Ormond, <laughs> must have like forces proud. to sally forth from Old Town. They expect to march quickly, meeting little resistance until they reach the Riverlands. My letters to Rhaenyra. Has there been any answer? An apology for her dead son? None, Your Grace. Between that and their blockade of the gullet, we must presume that the princess has refused the offered terms and that war is now inevitable. But perhaps Your Grace might lend his voice to our outreach. Stop. Enough! In hopes that new terms might, no, might be negotiated. Release it at once. <laughs> Is the heir to the throne bothering you, Tyland? No. No, 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 not in the least, Your Grace. Because I think he wants a ride. <laughs> a ride? <laughs> a pony ride. A pony <laughs> ride? Fun, Harris? Should the master of coin be your royal steed? <laughs> 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 like, Your dude, Grace, why? there are important matters to discuss, despite Sir Tylan's interruptions. Very well. <laughs> no time for amusements, Tylan. Your oh, Grace. Off you go, Jaharis. Good boy. Good, Good boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Rhaenyra's blockade has placed King's Landing under strain, and those pressures will multiply quickly. Well, we should have just killed her when we had the chance. Regrettably, the opportunity for surprise has been lost. And with it, the chance to end this conflict quickly. We must play the board before us. If we are to break the Sea Snakes blockade, we will need to bolster both the Lannister and Hightower navies. We do have need for a new master of ships. We could offer the title to the young Lord Dalton Greyjoy. Eamon. Uh -oh. Greyjoy. What is your business here? The king summoned me. You do not have a seat at this council. Eamon is my closest blood and our best sword. I welcome him. The path to King's Landing is through the Riverlands. We must establish a toehold there. But Aaron, hey, the River Lords will either dig. Don't between Aegon and Aemon, aren't you kind of like sensing like the Viserys Daemon vibe? Because Aegon's kind of like even kind of favoring Viserys, like the way he looks and stuff. Right. Well, I'm just getting the idea that Aegon has no interest in ruling. He's just in it for the perks. He's like giving me Robert Baratheon vibes, even though he's like he seems meaner. Right. You know. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. He he concerns me, Eamon, because yeah, he's well, very ambitious. When he walked in, uh, the thing is, I don't really even, I mean, where I'm getting ahead of myself, I don't know if they know anything about what happened. But when he walked in, he was like, I welcome him. He's our best sword. So, like, that reminded me a lot of Damon for some reason, like Viserys sticking up for Damon. Yeah, maybe so. <clears throat> yeah, they're copying themes a lot, like with the brothers yeah, and stuff in here. The River Lords will either declare for me or they will meet Vagar and Sunfire together. 
And, and we can burn the blockade while we're at it. Rhaenyra has dragons as well. Mine are bigger. If we loose the dragons to war, there'll be no calling them back. We must proceed cautiously. No. Fat old Lord Tully will either raise my banner or see his burn. We should fly to River Run. You are the king, Your Grace. You must not put yourself at risk. And Vagar is needed here to deter Rhaenyra from attacking in retribution for the death of her son. Oh, so yeah. Alice has to control these boys, huh? Mm -hmm. Following King Viserys' death, we mustn't compound them. You've already demonstrated your might, Your Grace. We must now favor patience and restraint. I send ravens by the hour. Many and more houses will declare for you in time. History and precedent will come to your side. He's Maybe. bored. He's bored. Yep. You see him? Man's bored. They're sitting there talking about the fate, the fate of the realm, and he's bored. And they're playing Mario, with the ball. <laughs> Tomorrow, Lord Laris. So he's still a I kid. That's why he was hyping his kid up. The small council convened, but your handmaiden said that you were indisposed. Oh, he's jealous. What is it you wish to discuss? He's taking like, that tongue away from them toes. <laughs> I have completed questions. <laughs> you dirty girl. The castle. They produced rather interesting details, but I am satisfied I have exposed all who betrayed our trust. And what of them? They no longer breathe our air. I've chosen your new staff personally. Once again, she's not in control. You but see that's that? scary because People... if, if he chose the staff, then. Yeah, they're about to be missing feet, arms, all kinds of stuff, I think. Right. Well, can she really even trust him, you know? No, she can't trust anyone. It seems like so much of this is outside of her control. That's the craziest thing to me about this show is if you're like a highborn, people bathe you. Yeah, heck no. That's insane. She wanted that, to scrub that Kristen Cole off herself. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's she didn't trust the guy's pick of her staff. Like, I feel like it's a spy on her. Yeah, I agree with you. You see the way she slid down that? She practiced that. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> She's lost so much this past week, man. That dragon is going to be ready for war now. Hey, King Aegon. Aegon the Magnanimous. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Hail King Aegon. The Magnanimous. <laughs> Let's have the first petition, my good Lord Hand. He's such a douche. <laughs> good morrow, my, uh, Your Grace. It's all right. There's no reason to be nervous. What's your name? Uh, Gerard, your grace. Good morrow, Gerard. And how might your king be of service? Tis my flock. A, a, a tenth of them taken by the crown on, on the cusp of winter. Damn. If I'd had the time to plan, We should perhaps. return them. He rolled his eyes. Your grace? You need your goats for the winter, don't you? Sheep, your, your grace. Sheep, even better. I shall make your flock of sheep whole. <laughs> We already made a promise to all the crown lands that a tithing of livestock would be necessary to sustain the dragons for their increased activity and pray not eventual fighting. Right. Right. Perhaps we could just return his sheep. He came all this way. If you return one herd of sheep, your grace, you'll soon find Is he kidding them all or at real? the foot of your throne expecting the same. They won't know. When the king speaks, your grace, all hear it. Yeah, hoping there is a great sheep returner. <laughs> the return policies was good After under Prince, further thought, Prince Aegon, boy. I have decided that I cannot restore your sheep. If war were to break out, my dragons will require feed. Bring the next. Oh, he tried, though. Salts always run scarce <clears throat> on the road to winter, <clears throat> your grace. 
We rely on ships from Essos for our supply. But now, with a blockade in place and war Adana. threatening... That treasonous blockade won't last long. I plan to send Vagar to burn it to ash. Bring the next. <laughs> Hugh, Your Grace. The Smiths are all proud to support Your Grace against Rhaenyra. But... But... Iron costs have grown. A lone scorpion takes weeks to build. To put it simply, we are struggling. If we could but have the crown's coin before we started work, it would bring great relief. Not just to me, but to all the smiths serving your cause. You shall be paid, and paid well. <laughs> okay, I don't My know. army cannot win a war without your weapons. You should continue their making. Our victory depends on the efforts of the small folk. <laughs> you have my most sincere gratitude, Your Grace. This is interesting right here. I'll hear the next Because I, I don't really expect it. It's like he sympathizes with the small folk, but a part of me thinks that he's really just trying to make himself feel good. Right. You know? But you know how he was like Your in Grace, the streets and stuff before when they couldn't find him? Oh, like he just went with the people? It, maybe it feels like that. Oh. So guys, basically the thing about Aim or Aegon is he just bucks authority. Yeah, I that's think so why, too. I think so too. That's why when... That's why he was doing that. He, that's just his way of being the ultimate. Just hey, that's not on. It's all good, oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we messed oh, up. Oh, but, the but no, no, today. no. Listen, listen. Before we start, I just I don't know. That's my prediction on Aegon is that he's one with the people because he he be hiding out there and you know he has a bunch of kids out there in the fighting pits. I don't I know. I think he just really hates the. I don't know. Maybe just the. It could be highborn yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Is boring to him. My I was only a boy when Jaehaerys last graced the seat, but you brought forth memories of him, and he was such a deft touch with the small folk, just as your father did. Thank you, my lord. I wonder, do you have a moment for a quiet word? Uh oh. It is the hands want to keep a firm grip on things. Mm. You controlled your father the same way. Jaehaerys had a certain reputation as being pliable. I am aware. I would think. As we find ourselves standing within a hair's breadth of wall, that you would wish to be viewed differently. How? Otto Hightower was your father's hand, your grace. I hope that guy doesn't end up handing the king. I hope not either. Because he's scheming his way, man. He's trying to sow distrust between everyone with authority. Mm -hmm. Daughter. I Otto Hightower. an audience hours ago. <laughs> there were many. Petitions. I find myself wondering, do we pursue the same end? I must admit there are days where I myself can't be sure. I should tell you mine. It's victory. And how would you define victory? Rhaenyra bending the knee and Aegon sitting the Iron Throne in peace, as Viserys wished. Well, if that's how you describe it, then we are aligned. Then be my ally. I am. An ally would not repeatedly cut my legs from beneath me at that table of men. I sit there and I feel your anger. Frustration. These critical days since Viserys is passing I haven't gone to plan. That's not my fault. My sons both see you as the great example. The hand to three kings. Aegon is ever eager to prove himself. And Aemon... Aemon is angry. Rhaenyra's son took his eye and was never punished for it. What he did, however vicious... The caprice of youth. Hmm. I can only hope. Aemon erred, but he is fiercely loyal. He wishes to please. And Aegon still heeds me, in private at least. But if you undermine my voice, both those boys will grow deaf to it. True. <clears throat> Fight for control between everyone. I hadn't seen it that way. We only need to mind Aegon until the novelty of rule is spent. Once he tires of it, you and I can steer our cause to victory. A fine strategy. But you must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. Oh mm. crap, here we go. I know it. Oh, she's embracing it. But that does not mean it must be wanton. Wanton? No. You. 
When last we met, there were two of you. The White Worm. Did you think I would wither in your absence? I did not think you would flower a traitor. You speak of highborn games. I am commonborn. How long have you been selling secrets to Otto Hightower? As long as he had gold to pay for them. Who sent you fleeing from King's Landing in such disrepair? Hmm? You put Egon on the throne. That was the Hightower's conspiracy. I merely profited from knowing Egon's movements. But you delivered him. He would have returned home eventually for gold and for respite, as he always does. I simply, simply spent the business along. Business that ended with the theft of the Queen's throne and the murder of her son. You only blame me because your true enemies are out of reach. Dang, she's brave, My though. My arrangement with the Hand was purely <clears throat> transactional. I held no loyalty to him. Certainly do not now. Otto Hightower was to me as I am to your noble ilk, fodder to be cast off. What else do you know of him, his plans? Little and less. I possess nothing of value to you, Damon. I think she's lying. Have her moved to the cells. She is to be treated as a traitor to the crown. Forgive me, my prince, but the lady speaks the truth. He was no agent of Hightower's. What is it to you? A matter of honor. Was it honor that made you stand by and watch as the high towers usurp the throne? You and your traitorous twin. No. My He's prince. trying to work him over. <laughs> I'm shamed by it. That's why I abandoned the King's Guard and my brother and came here. I don't care. Egon was in your grasp. You should have killed him yourself. I reckon I were names of the King's Guard at just eight and ten. And we swore the same oath to defend the whole of the royal family. But what were we to do when they turned against one another? Oh, that is so crazy, that dragon. So this is Eric with the E. He's on the blacks. Yeah. And the other one just hasn't came around yet. But I'm sure he will, right? Hopefully. I love the difference. Like, when Rhaenyra's that dragon, someone is so dark. Ooh, whose skull? I don't know. The thing was huge, was it not? Jeez. Guys, let us know. Who was that? Because it's not the exactly, one Exactly, yeah. Because she already walked by that one when she left. Did you find what you need? Council stands at the ready, Your Grace. I will fly to Harren Hall at your command and set our toehold in the Riverlands. Your Grace, my Lord Husband's blockade of the gullet moves into place. All seaborne travel and trade to King's Landing will soon be cut off. Hey, let's go. I want Aemond Targaryen. Ooh. So I take it her and Allison just aren't going to be friends anymore at this nope. point. Damon kind of smirked, didn't he? Like, sweet. <laughs> well, he wants that violence. Mm -hmm. That blood shit. In your years as merchant of gossip, you surely accumulated spies within the Red Keep. Servants who knew the comings and goings. Skim with someone else, Damon. I was once in your thrall. But no longer. A transaction then. Your knowledge in exchange for your freedom. What's she gonna do though? Her house is burnt. <laughs> right. Not laughing at that, but you know. Your Grace. Lady Jane Aaron has pledged her support in exchange for a dragon to guard the veil. Aww. And Lord Craken Stark has promised two thousand men. It's kind of tough that every time someone pledges support, they demand one of her dragons to guard. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Goodness. You notice how when Rhaenyra's kids come in, they'll say your grace, and when Aegon saw her, he said mother. He yeah. said my lord's mother. I'm <laughs> Florence. Maybe it's because they weren't born out of love, you know? Born out of duty. And they probably recognize that. So I don't know how they would like perceive their parents' relationship. Like if you knew your dad was an old king and your mom was a young teenage girl who just was exploiting that, like how would you feel about your mom? You know, it'd be kind of weird. 
Cyrus Targaryen. Or how would you feel about your dad? You know, I don't know. Well, look at his, like, uh, what is that? His t-shirt. <laughs> You think she left that one for Luke? Mm. Yeah, maybe. Cyrus Lord. Yeah. That's what's interesting is she really does seem like a lot of us out of her control. A lot of us not. I don't know why that's so emotional that she just did that, but it is. Well, she's really hypocritical too, though, because she's sitting there messing around with whatever his name is, Kristen Cole, while she's wearing like all this Seven Pointed Star stuff. Showing her like moral superiority. Her Davos and Melisandre. Thank you, my lord. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is like Assassin's Creed when you blow the whistle to get the guard to come over. A tribute. He said, I can't believe my eyes. Is that Damon Targaryen? Commander. I would have not walked up the hill for long. And told you bear a mislike for the high towers. Fuck the high towers. <laughs> <laughs> the hound 2.0. Keep walking. Don't make trouble. Keep walking. The white worm said you're one of Aegon's rat catchers. He must be busy. That castle positively crawls with them now. I heard the white worm were dead. Her ghost told me you were a betting man. Fighting pits? Dogs and bones. How deep your debts? <clears throat> I was also given to understand that you possess a unique knowledge of the Red Keep. My ghost tunnels. Great big rat's nest it is. I know them better than the shape of my own cock. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this Why is do you know friend. him that good? <laughs> Tonight he's going to be your friend. You're to find and slay the Prince Aemon Targaryen. He has silver hair and one eye. Should be easy enough to find. But I understand that he's quite good in a fight. You want to take caution. It's one half. If we get the other one, it's done. So he's gonna hire this sloppy guy right here? I know he's eating like an apple with a knife. That always stresses me out when people do that. All right. What if we can't find him? We've wasted precious days in this war of quills and ravens. Words are wind. You should be leading the van, and I should be flying cover on Vega. No castle would dare to raise Rhaenyra's banner against us. We would bring the whole of the Crown lands to heal in weeks. Well, mayhaps we could petition the king privately to send us out. Ros Why aren't they such best left. buddies, though? Small castles right in the shadow of King's Landing. They would not want us for enemies. We could add their levies to our own. Because they tra remember he trained him, probably. He's the coach. Uh, it is a canny scheme. This but is the best player. My brother is hostage to my grandsire and mother, and they tell him that a war of dragons can yet be avoided. It is inevitable. That's they why he's not that. that. Well, too long, Allison. He things. schemes with him behind her back because Allison he's the happy. <laughs> angry. He called her Allison. Angry. She blames me for starting this war after she plotted with my father's council to usurp his throne. Her grace speaks with two tongues. She didn't do that, though. He just called her a hypocrite. She has a gentle heart. And <laughs> Rhaenyra is a cunning spider. He would know. Long ago, she drew Alison into her web. He and fell intoxicated in her. her. It is not your mother's fault. She holds love for our enemy. That makes her a fool. <laughs> Another lizard enters the building. Lord Han. They even scheming against each other. You see this? Return to your post, Lord Commander. I must have a word with the Prince. You're just playing dice. Don't worry about it. It would concern me, grandson, if plans were being considered beyond the ears of your king and his hand. You've a zeal to act, I understand. I was young once myself. I only wish to serve my king and my house. I feel like when he looks at the camera, his chin's gonna fall you on my lap. Vega, he has the world in his power chin. In the realm. If it wasn't obvious before, it certainly is now. 
We get it. <laughs> but there are many pieces at play here, some of which you can't yet see. One I, I do. I promise you, Eamon, you will have all the vengeance that you seek, but you must keep a grip on your impulses. The dragon did it, bro. We both know that your brother cannot. I just want to know why there's a pupperoo involved in this. Take that. I wonder if that's the same dog that was walking during Aegon's meeting because I dog. saw the dog. Because I love dogs. I see a dog when there's a dog on the screen. He's a happy dog, see? You think they're about to go feed him to a dragon? I swear to gosh. I'm sure. I need to be a symbol for the small folk as well as the nobility. Oh, you hear him? My nephew's already taken that one. Which one would Grace prefer? It's a king. I need to be both. My mother and grandsire mind me like some helpless duckling. Oh, but you're the king. Who gives a shit what they say? My brother, <laughs> he's no Just space. drinking. He's as loyal as a hound. I can set him and his dragon on my foes at will. Keep your eyes I down. I need a style that demonstrates power and commands respect. No, no one knows what magnanimous means. <laughs> I think egg on the generous, then. That would charm the small folk. I like that. Is there more strong one? Egg on the dragon heart. That's it. Is that Viserys? Egg on the dragon heart. Doesn't it look like yeah. it? Yeah, it looks like it. Yes. Yeah, the untamable beast. He's coming up for Nicky names. You hear that? He didn't like Magnumus. Yeah, I wouldn't like that either. That's a terrible name. I didn't really hear what he was saying. I just heard something about dragon cup. Oh. <laughs> That's what he said. Aww, my sees. How do we get upstairs? The royals live up there. Right. Well, it's off limits, it is. Different group of rat catchers work the upstairs. If we're to kill a royal f***ing prince, where do you think we're going to find him? Keep your mouth I down. I got you in the castle. I thought the rest was your bed. <laughs> we're in this foolery right together. Here. Take the rest of the gold myself. <laughs> I know I'm upstairs. I just don't know my way around. No. Show me. <gasps> what did he kick the dog for? Maybe he don't want the dog to know. This way. I think he was just frustrated. Yeah. He didn't want the dog to know. <laughs> I feel like the mice are like spies or something. Like these guys that are the mice catchers are spies. I think it. I'm taking it as a symbolic that House Hightower being there is kind of like rats and busting. Yeah, the, you know the I mean? King's Landing. But my thing is, if he'll do the that to the dog, what the hell would he do to the cat? Right. He'd punt that cat to Dragonstone. No one's here. They were just, they we just missed them. Looking. I told you, I'm not supposed to be up here. Did you not hear the prince? No head. No gold. He said cha-ching. Mm -hmm. Set a trap. Huh? For appearances. Huh. I'll search the next room. Those are some loyal friends, man. Well, they do it for money. <laughs> I mean, if your friend asks you to kill someone, they gotta pay you, right? That's still a friend. <gasps> For the rats. that girl because she's seen him all. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's the queen. She is. A son 
for a son, he said. She just heard that, man. <gasps> And get out. <gasps> That's his little son he's so proud of right now. Um, Which one's a boy? Might be that one. I thought they wanted Amen. The mother knows. Amen. Do anything but what I ask, and I'll bleed the whole lot of you. <laughs> Too bad she didn't see that one coming. She did. She said she was scared of the rats, remember? Yeah. It's of great value. The snow sun. That's terrible. She's going to have to tell him which one. Wait. It's the other one. She's not going to give up the king's hair that easy. No. She's telling true. Hold him down. There's just no way. How did he know? John is brutal, ain't it? What? Yeah, I'd be, in, I'd be at war too. They did that, man. That's what I'm saying. Aegon's that was kinda, gonna flip. Aegon's gonna flip. That was kind of shady by them, wasn't it? Team Black. It's kind of yeah, dirty. Yeah, but like, what are y'all doing? Why would you just cut off a little kid? You don't even. They said a one eyed. Did he look one eyed? This might shift his whole focus from being oh, someone who just shit. wants attention to someone who is hell bound on war. Right. It might make him go crazy. She got caught. What's happened? They killed the boy. Okay, so apparently that's how you guys came back into the show after a big uh, layoff. Coming back into season two, babe, what did you think about that? Was that too much or what? That was crazy. <laughs> that was too much, dude. That was the beginning of a crazy season. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to think about that, man. That was pretty evil, right? Mm -hmm. I think I think that was pretty dumb by Damon to ask some street guy like that to commit an act like that. That's one of those things that you sort of have to like do it yourself, you know? Right. But I guess the whole idea is Damon doesn't want to die for that cause. He just wants to get in. <laughs> show well, that he can infiltrate he's got people too and that sends a message also but that was crazy man i don't support that i might have to just be team me over here uh, <laughs> i thought the thing i thought about that was damon was you know they were telling him he needs to show restraint and stuff like that renice was Rhaenyra did all of them so damon instead took action i think that might cause problems between him and Rhaenyra. yeah because he went behind her back and did something extremely like that's not just a small act like that's, that's a child right that was that's the terrible. air that's his air too well which it's shady that you guys named someone else instead of Rhaenyra as you know the heir but it's even worse when you just killed the king's heir <laughs> or who they name king now that's the heir so that's gonna be snuff out our heir we'll snuff out yours that just seems like a cycle of violence that's not gonna end until we have dragons raining fire on each other. So right. um, that was crazy to me. Like I said, I don't understand what's up with Damon in that moment. That seemed a little impulsive to go try to get someone to do that. But, you know, it's not really a bad plan. It's just, if the plan doesn't go accordingly, it can really take things out of your hands, yeah. kind of like it just did. Yeah. But with that being said, man, I really wish they would've went and took out the the uh, One-Eyed Prince or whatever his name is. Well, yeah. Prince, but. And if they Amen. would have, would it have been worse to kill Eamon or to kill that little prince? Well, like, the little prince didn't have a dragon. So if they would have killed Eamon, it probably would have been better because he has such a. True. He has Vagar. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It would have been better to kill him. Plus, he's like strategically, with the sword. yes. But um, in terms of morals and like people siding with what, I'm sure that really like 
did bad for the black. He asked him. He said, what happens if we can't find them? And Damon didn't answer or he just didn't. It didn't show us his answer. But I'm assuming that he just didn't answer. And he basically said, you're going to find them. And I think in his mind, he said, well, we'll just take what we can get and get out so we can take our gold. But I don't even know how Damon's going to respond to that. He's he going to see the head and it. probably like flip out. Flip out. Yeah. But, you know, you but know, if you just not to interrupt you, but yeah. if you kill, but if you kill Eamon, like what difference does it make? That's still an act of war. I mean, what's right? Well, he just killed your kid. So it's like, you know, it was right, like yeah. even. But the thing that's weird to me about House of the Dragons is that's the second misinterpretation that's happened in the show. That's been like a vital one. Like the first one was Allison on yeah. King Viserys' deathbed. And the second one, well, third one, actually, because the other misinterpretation was Aemon actually, they thought Aemon was viciously trying to kill Luke when the dragon actually killed the other dragon. Right. So there's this show is thriving off misinterpretations, I believe. It's like... Well, that's how life is, right? right. It's all about just how you perceive and, things, yeah. Yeah, and circumstances and a lot of stuff. So this one right here was a big blow for the blacks. Like that's going to really like screw a lot of things up. Well, in Game of Thrones, everything hindered on logic and reason. You know, mm -hmm. the best characters were the ones who practice as much logic and reason as possible, uh -huh. but they're really bringing in the human element, the emotions into this the one. Impulses, right, the impulses, right. yeah. Um and like even like when Renice killed all those people, like maybe in her mind she didn't give a damn about them. And I kind of like I don't, I don't like it. I think it's terrible. But in a sense, it just makes it seem more realistic in a way. Yeah. Like this pious box we're trying to paint everyone in right. isn't always the best. But um, basically, Sir Kristen Cole's straight getting on with Allison. So that's that's kind of weird. Um, it seemed like he would have an issue with that because that was the whole cost, I thought, of him and Rhaenyra going their separate ways. Was she wanted to basically side piece yeah. him. He's like, nah. I ain't but I kind I kind of like that they're together in a way because it makes it, it schemy. It's distracting them. It's distract. Right. It's distracting them from, like for example, Kristen Cole. He could have been on guard in that moment, and something he could have stopped it. But instead, he was doing the dirty with Allison. You know, at least Allison is not a jealous woman. Could could you imagine if she has like an interest in Kristen Cole like that? But he has a history with your arch enemy. Right. Kind of weird, right? Right. Especially at this point, now that she done killed your kid. So uh, I think Allison will probably end up pregnant by Kristen. I have no idea, man. That's just a prediction. <laughs> I but. think she's a little old for that. I don't know. Well, the fact that she walks around with the seven-pointed star and she uses, like, the faith of the seven to basically set this false dichotomy that she's actually the pious, righteous one and Rhaenyra's team black, which represents, like, darkness and stuff like that. And then she's, you know, cast over at Dragonstone where it doesn't look like the nicest place. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. It don't look like Mother Teresa The Trisha vibe even there. feels like, It feels you know, dark and ominous, like yeah. kind of destructive and evil. Like if we had to pick modern day music to play behind it, it would be like rock. <laughs> yeah. Like dungeon. But, and then when we go to the high towers, it's like Mozart music. Right. Like, you know how, you know. What's that? Uh, who was it that every time they'd pop on TV, they'd play some angel music behind them? Which girl was it lately? Was it Rhaenyra? Was it Rhaenyra? Yeah, they were going, they would do that oh. every time she'd get on TV. They'd play like some whole week. But it was because that episode was. I think it was just the episode because it was a lot of bad stuff was happening to her. Right. I think. No. I think what's really interesting in this episode though is the character of the team or the king Aegon Targaryen. He. I don't know how to make him out because part of him seems like he serves the small folk. He's he doesn't really like the whole highborn society and all that, and he doesn't. He doesn't really find himself in those can. He doesn't find himself fitting in because I think in his mind, he sees everyone as like some noble man who led a noble house, has a noble story, and he just wants to drink with his friends and be right. a screw up, right? And then I thought it was very telling because while his uh, son was just murdered, he was out hanging out with some bros getting drunk. Mm -hmm. And it just goes to show... Where his focus know, is at, I guess. Yeah, because they're on the midst of war. Like, if 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 war is on your doorstep, you don't sit there and you don't do that, basically. Right. Like, you, you don't let your kids out of your sight. You take every precaution. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I've never been in war. A Aegon's just an interesting character to me as a whole. And I think his talk with Laris was very interesting to me because um, Laris kind of told him, hey, the hand, he served three kings and you kind of see how it's went. But the way it's went is very been, has been very peaceful. So I feel like him putting that into Laris's mouth, because I told you, I'm even getting like the, the costume look. It's kind of like Viserys with Aegon, like Aegon's having the Viserys hair the Viserys like you know vibe so, so you think he's gonna grow up and be kind of nice? no I think the hand's trying to continue the prosperous peaceful you know type of thing and Laris is going to get into Aegon's head and say 
we got to get rid of Otto because he's, you know, you know what it I'm saying. It seems like Otto was the one who was trying to really beat it in Allison's head that war's coming. Don't try to avoid it. It's inevitable at this point. So I don't really get the vibe that he's trying to keep peace. I think that he's tired of peace because peace has only allowed him. I wasn't just, I wasn't talking about this moment in particular. I'm talking about this moment as like, like he's been the hand of three Kings. So I think Laris is trying to shake that up with, um, Aegon. Yeah, I mean, probably so. That, that's what I was basically. So, what do you think Laris' main aim is? He wants the Iron Throne. It's either he wants to be Hand of the King or he wants, yeah, the throne. Do you think he'll become Hand of the King? I he might. So. Right? Doesn't he I get the vibe he will. that he will? I, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm. I, I that's my prediction is that guy's gonna sit there like as Hand of the King. But I don't know what the expense is gonna be. Well, it seems like if he wants to be Hand of the King, he needs to go start scheming with uh, Aegon, not um, Allison. But what's crazy is because. Everyone that's in Allison's corner that is someone who could offer wisdom potentially, he does come behind them and undermine everything they say. Mm -hmm. He makes he basically comes by and makes him out to be a fool. Right. And why would you do that unless you're trying to move up the you know the trustee right. ladder? And so, yeah. the other thing that's sketchy to me, obviously, and we've seen a crippled be handed the yeah. king before. So hey, right. The thing, the other thing that's sketchy to me is like you just said, he replaces her servants with with other people. I feel like he's trying to find some blackmail on Allison too because. He might be hurt about her and Christian Cole. I don't know. Like, you know, he was doing that junk to her feet and stuff. So maybe that fuels him a little. I, I don't, I'm like not 100%. Baby, what are you talking about? He was doing that junk to her feet. Laris. What was he doing? You know what he was doing. Stop it. Can you tell us? No, stop can you, it. Can you explain to us what exactly no, what was can happening? Can you stop? <laughs> anyways, anyways, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that fuels him a little bit, but the vibe I get from Laris is that he had nothing. And now he's the head of his household, which is the strong household. And he has aspirations, just like Littlefinger did, that, that did or does. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe his aspirations was just get close to the the um, queen regent so I can touch them feet. I don't know. I don't know. That's very weird to me. I don't know why the TV show decided to throw that in there. Like, you know, like sometimes I wonder. Because it's like, like relevant now. Or maybe, I don't know, if it was in the books, let well, us he know. he could have just, I mean, I guess maybe because this person wants to like do it with this person gets old. So maybe you got to switch it up. But it's like either that, or I feel like they did that because you know, he does, he has a bad foot. So like maybe like <laughs> seeing two good feet makes him happy or something. I don't know. Seeing two good, perfectly working feet. If you're into really feet, gets him going, like if you're into feet, you know, like if I like, okay. So if, if your wife's sitting there and like you're into your wife, right? Like if you see a girl with socks on, is that sort of like seeing your wife in a bikini? Like, do you want some, like some, like, I don't know. <laughs> no, I used to wear toe to socks. To all my feet lovers, to all my FJ fans out there, Ew. let me <laughs> just let me know. I'm, you no, buy your hey, wife, if that's what you do. Do cool. you buy your wife fancy little socks? You know what I'm saying? Are there bows you put on the toes? You know. Okay. A anyways. Anyways, guys. guys yeah. The <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, guys. I'm another sim another symbolism I picked up on a lot was rats. So obviously we saw in season one rats were everywhere, and the only person who really noticed it the whole time was Viserys. So he was the he only did person. Notice yeah, it. yeah he was the only person that. I was sitting there and was like, he actually saw it, and that's when he noticed it right before he went and got rid of Otto. And that's yeah. maybe when the rat extinguisher started coming in when Viserys saw it. Maybe I don't know, but um. The the issue I'm having with the rats is that, that girl, Helena, at the beginning, she even told Aegon, hey, I'm scared. The rat, I'm not scared of the dragons. I'm scared of the rats. Rats were that, <clears throat> this is crazy. Like, I, I have a gut feeling that the people who are the extinguishers of the rats are very important. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely an infestation. Got to get rid of them. I and the was, dog's important to me. I don't know why. Yeah, why'd they kick that dog like that? He got bullied, and then he literally turned around and kicked a dog for it. That was such a cliche. Uh, but I'm really liking the show, man. I feel like war's coming. I, I thought we were going to get more. I thought it was sort of going to be on like neck bone in this one, but more gearing up. It felt like yeah. the last episode in that sense. But basically the biggest thing that happened to me that advanced the story was it seems like um, they really want to get payback mm -hmm. on uh, what's his name? Eamon. And they're having a hard time getting to him. He seems like he's going to be someone who's going to be hard to get at anyways. Uh, he's going to be a player eventually, and he's very smart. He's cunning in a lot of ways, and he like demands a presence in a weird way. Mm. You know what I mean? He kind of gets that after uh, Damon. Mm. So, and y'all see how Damon ended up. But you're right. I think it's interesting because um, Eamon could definitely turn it around, sort of like Damon did. You mm. know, he's still war hungry, and he's still 
a warrior at heart. But at the same time, he he did a 180 from his younger days for sure. So right. I, I don't know what's going to be up with this king. Maybe it's one of those things where the king's really not that bad. Allison and Rhaenyra are so brutally angry with each other that they both end up becoming tyrants. And right. so it puts you in this weird dichotomy of even though we support Rhaenyra, she's so angry and you know, Aegon's not really that bad. Right. Well, you know? I think Aegon's bad because at the beginning, you know what he did. He did that horrible stuff. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. really, I don't know how you return from that. That's, but, yeah, you're redeemable for sure. But what I do, what, I mean, but if we do have to accept him as king, I guess the good part is that he actually shows favoritism to the actual people, which is different than I expected, period, which is different than probably anyone expected because he's so rash, I guess. Yeah. And, I would ex I kind of expect him to be like Joffrey. So if someone came up crying about some sheep, he would be like, "Okay, off with your tongue or whatever." It's like I said, he just seems like he rebels differently. His, it, you know, he comes from a very highborn family, and let's not pretend those people don't care about the common right. folk. I mean, you saw what Renice did. So, um, his his way of rebelling is to show sympathy towards common folk because the more sympathy you show towards the common folk, the more the hypocrisy start to smell inside of your halls. And it's one of those things where no one likes to walk around and smell it. And that's just his way of getting at his mom, I think. Right. Yeah. So more with Aegon, he's an interesting character. I would say Aemon is interesting. And Helena to me is the most interesting because anything she says now, I'm gonna take it like and hold on to it. <laughs> anything that comes out of that girl's mouth, I'm, ta I'm holding on to right. it. Right, that's something I wish I would have picked up on a little sooner. Everything yeah. she says is a big metaphor yeah. for something crazy. I'd be pissed off if I was getting visions and there were metaphors. Right. And I'm not good at riddles. And she even told Aegon about it and he just said, okay, well, don't be scared. <laughs> like, bye, right. I gotta go. <laughs> I don't know. This is a crazy season already, you guys. And, oh, well, I guess another big thing that did happen was the Blacks acquired Winterfell in the North. So that's 2,000 more men added to them. Right, and Lord Corliss uh, basically assured them that they have mm -hmm. full... Full control of the narrow sea now so um, war is definitely coming now because they they don't have any um what is it supplies in king's landing now they're running low on them which is why that guy couldn't give the sheep back he was like man come on we don't have enough sheep for that it feels like i even fight though because lord Corliss has uh the narrow sea and then you have like winterfell in the north and then mm -hmm. you have like uh the reach and stuff and all these places basically sort of they sort of isolate king's landing in a sense so king's landing is looking for support all the way to the west yeah across the landmass mm -hmm. it's gonna be crazy but they also king's landing imports everything mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be really interesting to see the geography and stuff we do follow the map guys just so you know we have studied the map a lot and if there's something we're not sure of we'll definitely pull up the map and look we have it saved on our computer but um really interesting man it feels like it's you know it feels like it's a 50 50 race right now baby so i'm, I'm down for it uh, the new episode comes out tomorrow mm -hmm. does it not so when you guys are watching this today if you're watching it the day we drop it the new episode comes out tonight so mm -hmm. we're yeah. gonna get it watched we're gonna get it on here as soon as possible but thank you guys so much for hanging out is there anything left that we missed no i'm i cannot wait for episode two <laughs> this is this is so much fun uh thank you guys so much for hanging out man we'll see you on the next one